people and welcome to Owen's Mind, a light-hearted trip through the contents of my head and the world in general. And here is a quick thought that is on my mind today. So as the title suggests, tearing down statues, tearing down a monument does not mean you are erasing history. So a little bit of background, obviously, you know, people are well aware by now there has been protests going on for many, many weeks now, which began in the wake of the death of George Floyd at the hands of the police. And the protests moved on and gathered momentum and gathered um, speed and public support. And in recent weeks, we have seen people, statues that commemorate um, figures from history who may have had a less than stellar past are being torn down. They're being ripped up because they are saying, protesters are saying, look, these people should not be celebrated. They have had some horrible things in their past in regards slave traders and slave owners and we should not be celebrating these people okay so before we go any further my own opinion is that criminal damage is never the answer okay for a couple of reasons number one it undermines your core message now there is a debate whether or not the people who are pulling down the statues are kind of the pure protesters who were initially coming out <laughs> to support george floyd's family and you know uh, just protesting because they want reform, they want change, they want to stop these things from happening. So whether or not it's the same group who are now pulling statues and things down is up for debate. But let's just, let's say it is for the sake of argument, okay? What happens is all the public support you've gained, the public momentum you've gained, and the sympathy that you've gained, and the support you've gained by having peaceful protests is risk, you risk it being undermined if you then turn to acts of criminality and obviously there's been lots of stories of looting and vandalism and graffiti and all this kind of stuff as well you end up losing some of that support again if indeed it is the the genuine protesters who are doing this and i don't believe that it is um so that's reason number one reason number two it's a criminal act it is a criminal act and i get that passenger passions are high of course they are how could they not be in the wake of something like this but if you feel strong enough to have these, you know, these figures, these monuments taken down, you need to go about it in the right way and approach the people who, who are responsible for them being there. Now, admittedly, if those people are unresponsive, then you're kind of in a, a difficult spot. But, you know, that's another discussion. You would hope that you, if enough of you in a very positive way, go to these people and say, look, this is why this statue shouldn't be here. This is why it shouldn't be commemorated. This is why it shouldn't be celebrated in public. You would hope that they would listen and take things on board. Whether they will or not, I don't know. Maybe this has been done. People have been protesting these statues for years and years and years. Nothing's been done. Anyway, the recent pushback against all this, against along with the, the chorus of this is criminal damage, which absolutely is, this is vandalism, which actually absolutely is, has been this new thread, which is people are trying to erase history. People are trying to erase America's past, you know, and it's happened the, the it's happened in the UK. This was um, the Colston statue was torn down and thrown into the canal. But primarily it's happening in the US. A lot of Confederate statues particularly are being targeted. I disagree with the fact that this is trying to erase history. It's not. It's not trying to erase history. That's not why people are doing this. History is written and it should be observed and it should be studied because if you try and erase or ignore history, you are doomed to repeat it. My argument would be there is hundreds of historical figures who we are very, very aware of and the horrible deeds they did and there's not a statue to them anywhere. You know, so... By tearing down these particular statues, you are not trying to erase history. What you're doing is trying to erase a celebration of a person from history who maybe doesn't deserve that kind of praise. Just the word monument, the, the actual dictionary definition is a statue, building or other structure erected to commemorate a notable person or event. It's a celebration. It's a celebration of their life. You put them in public display to celebrate them, to immortalise them. And all these protesters, you know, criminality aside, what they're saying is we should not be holding these people up as figures from history that we want to emulate or we want to admire. That doesn't mean erasing them from history. Pulling a statue now does not erase them from history. 
to my knowledge, there's not a statue of Hitler anywhere. And yet he's one of the, the foulest historical figures and one of the ones that people know the most about due to his, his deeds. And it's the same with these people. It's the same with these statues getting pulled down. History will not be rewritten because these statues are no longer there. And I don't think that's what the protesters and the people who are pulling them down or the people who are lawfully petitioning to have them taken down are trying to do. They're not trying to erase history. What they're saying is we just shouldn't celebrate this particular part or this particular person from history. So that's kind of what my overwhelming thought is today because this this narrative that people are trying to change and erase history or, or, or you know, clean it from the books. No, they're not. What they're saying is people can study this. These statues, if you put them in a museum and you put plaque next to them or you have a nice an audio description, people can go and get the facts and say this is this particular gentleman or this particular lady or this particular person or governing body or whatever it was. This is them and this is what they did and this was some of the good stuff and this was some of the bad stuff and this is the stuff which was at the time was considered normal but now it's not then, you know, that is history, and people can go and view it, as we do with all history. Most history that we know, if we don't get it digitally, if we go see history in person, you go to a museum. You know, obviously buildings and other things, they are primarily external as they would be. But for things like, um, you know, historical artifacts and historical people, histor historical... Um, rituals and things you go to a museum and that's where you learn your history and it is taught in schools and it is taught in universities and colleges and this history is available to you pulling a statue down does not make it any less available what it does it makes particular figures less visible as maybe they should be such as the di dictators and despots down through the generations we know about them we know who they are we're well versed in them the fact that they don't have a statue or they had a statue that was removed does not make our knowledge of them any less. And I think that's what you need to take away from this. Like I say, I don't support the criminality of pulling these statues down. Um, I do support that they should be removed if we are celebrating, commemorating a person who has done horrific things in their past, particularly things which are affect a certain part of society which has been punished historically for you know generations if we have put if there was some figure that was put up on a pedestal for everybody to celebrate to admire to look at to sit under in the sunshine in the park and gaze upon this figure who had done horrible horrible things to my ancestors and you know generations back i would wouldn't want it there either now, you know, the counter-argument is, but they did these good things as well. Yeah, I know, everybody, everybody is, there is shades of grey with everybody. Not everybody is 100% evil, not everybody is an absolute saint. Everybody's got good and bad. But what I'm saying is, if there is enough bad that, you know what, we really shouldn't be celebrating them, there are better things to do. Take them down, replace them with people who are predominantly have done wonderful things and Lord knows there is enough people through history who we could put on pedestals who we could actually look to and we could walk with our kids and go now that person there they did this they did this wonderful thing or they helped these people or they came up with this medicine or they came up with this technology which made the world a better place as it is now we've got these statues which are yes this person did this don't ask any more questions that's the problem so yes, I suppose the overall overriding message of this video, my overall like, thought was that I don't believe this whole, they're trying to change history, they're trying to erase these people from history. No, they're not. What they're saying is just don't celebrate them in a, in a big public figure because there is better people to put up on better stores. There is better people that we should be admiring publicly. And taking them down does not erase their deeds if only it was that simple. Sadly, it's not. History will not forget them. And people who want to know about them, there is many, many, many places you can go. There is people who know about these statues. There is people who will know all about these figures who have never seen that statue in their life. But they know their history. These statues not being there, people will still know the history. It's still available if you want it. But, you know, we need to be culturally sensitive. And we need to have been forever. We haven't been. Not to the degree that's required. And hopefully now that these, this kind of momentum that's built 
will not get derailed by some of these, you know, criminal acts. And that the positive momentum will go forward and that things will change and be better for everybody. Anyway, so that's it, guys. Thank you, as always, for taking the time to watch. Like and subscribe if you want to see more. It'll really help me out. And if there's anything you'd like me to talk about or any questions you'd like me to answer, leave me in the comments below with any thoughts you'd like to share. This was mine. It's not necessarily important. It's not necessarily right or wrong. It's just what was on my mind. So until next time, bye for now.